There's a 35 pound hammer and it drops 15 inches. And it has a hammer rod and a, an attachment which goes onto this tank so that I can get slurry outside these rods so that no friction uh, damages the, the accuracy of the pumps. I'm going to add some polymer slurry to the uh, to the water as it goes into this three and a half gallon tank. And that will give us a viscous water that will inject to prevent friction on the rod. So it's usable probably five minutes after we mix it. This device pulls the rods out after the test and uh, it's called a post popper. This is a typical rod. You get five of them when you buy the Wildcat. And on the end of the typical rod, we put an end rod, which is only 10 centimeters long. On the end of that uh, end rod, we slide a lost point. And the lost point is a single-use point that gets hammered into the ground. There, we're all set up to start. Now, we're going to drive the first three intervals of 10 centimeters without hooking the slurry up to the, to the slurry tank. And I'll count these blows and then note them on the, the field record at the end of three blows. Six. I hooked the slurry up and pumped the slurry, and now the slurry has reached, the, the level of it has reached the top of the ground. So I'll continue driving. We are at the level where we change rods right now. Add a rod. And you can repeat this process as necessary. Now I'm going to latch the post popper onto the hammer rod to begin to pull these rods. As it grips on its own. This is the re reusable adhesive point called the wrap, and it allows you to test for grain size of soil, which is magnificent. Uh, I'm screwing it onto a rod, a typical rod, that's had one alteration made to it, and that is right above the bottom of the rod, it's had an eighth inch diameter hole drilled through it so the fluid can come out. Here's a torque wrench. It has a stud on it that goes down into the hex head of the bolt that holds the handle on. And what it does is it measures the friction as we rotate that uh, wrap in the ground. Okay, let's see. We're at eight foot-pounds of torque. So I'll note that on the log. Here's the data we collected in the field from our testing. And uh, we have 
plugged it into the computer here and we've printed logs which I want to show you and explain. We have two separate logs. The first one, this one, is with the lost point cone and uh, you can see it went down to about uh, nine feet, no excuse me, six feet <laughs> and uh, it has uh, very logical type of graph on it. Our second test was a wrap test where we tested the adhesion of the soil and it gives us grain size distributions. Uh, medium dense granular, loose silk, medium stiff clay, and very loose granular. It is finished by the use of the torque wrench and we measure the adhesion on that uh, relatively large length um, wrap cone. These logs can be made with the um, materials that are sent to you, the software that's sent to you. We have regular logging software for Lost Point Cone that comes with your normal Wildcat kit and when you order the uh, wrap kit you get wrap logging software. Good luck with your Wildcat and thank you for watching us.